Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to check in for the third week of October with our budget. So in front of me, I've got my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. Um, this is the 2020 version of the planner. And this is the first video I have filmed since baby Julia was born. We are all doing great over here. It's definitely been an adjustment, but Julia is so sweet. She's the sweetest baby ever, I swear. I'm obsessed with her. Um, I have tons of pictures already posted on my Instagram, and my Instagram handle is in the description box down below, so definitely follow me there if you wanna see some pictures and everything like that. Um, I am planning to film like a labor and delivery story, let you guys know how everything went and give you an update that way, but I don't know when that's going to happen. Um, we'll just have to see. I don't really have anything scheduled or planned as of right now, but in the meantime, you can you know get updates and see pictures and stuff um, over on my Instagram. So let's go ahead and get started. We're just going to open up to the monthly spread first and take a look at what's been going on this past week. So I mentioned in my last check-in video that, um, you know, transactions that occurred during the week that we were in the hospital, I would be just kind of tracking in this third week as well. Well, I guess it's definitely like the week two check-in. Wait, maybe I have my dates mixed up. Yep, I do have my dates mixed up. So this is actually the week two um, check-in and I will be tracking a couple transactions that occurred a couple days before when we were in the hospital as well. So let's go ahead and get out my pen. And as you can see, we've had quite a bit going on in this past week. Um, I've had to order some stuff from Amazon for Julia. Um, and let's see, I had to do some paperwork um, for our refinance. We're refinancing our house right now. And yeah, so we'll just go through the transactions one by one. Um, I am sleep deprived, so if I don't make much sense um, during this video, just bear with me. So these purple ones here um, are transactions that are taking place that are coming out of savings. So we're not gonna track that until the very end of the month. So we're just gonna take a look at, I guess the first thing we'll do is grocery pickup. So we had a grocery pickup order on Sunday for 55.61. We'll track that first. Is more than what we had wanted, but if we go a little over groceries, I'm okay with that. Um, okay, so we'll try to stick to budget, obviously, but sometimes it just happens. So 10674 minus 5561. So we have 5113 remaining. 5113 remaining for the month and we've got two more weeks left so that gives us about $25 per week. Gas we are doing great on and I don't think my husband is going to New Mexico anymore. Um, the New Mexico plans were mainly based on me having a VBAC and I did end up having a C-section so with my recovery obviously taking longer and things like that I'm not able to lift my daughter, my oldest daughter um, at all until I'm fully healed, he is going to be staying put and then we're maybe gonna go out there as a family in the spring or something to get together with them. But um, so gas we should be really good on because I budgeted more than what we probably need for the month because my husband's not working at all this month. We're gonna obviously be home most of the month just uh, you know, with our, our baby girl and all that so yeah, so we just had one gas transaction for forty-seven twenty-one. Forty-seven twenty-one. It'll be really awesome if we're really under budget. That will be great. So three hundred minus forty-seven twenty-one. So we have two fifty-two. Two fifty-two seventy-nine remaining there. We have spent zero on Duncan. So we still have $20 remaining there. Business expenses, I did buy, um, and I'm actually filming this on this day on the 16th. I did buy the 2020 Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets. I blame Julie's Plans and Plan with Lakin for this purchase, but really, I mean, they have raved about how awesome they are and I'm really wanting to focus 
um, on 2020 being a year of um, overall health and well-being, physically, mentally, spiritually, all that kind of stuff. Um, I really want to get my act together. And I know a lot of people say that every year, but I feel like now that I know that my like childbearing days are over, we are not having more than two kids. I feel like I can, it's weird. Like, I feel like I can really focus on me now. I don't know. Even though I'm like, I still have a newborn. I'm still breastfeeding, obviously, all that kind of stuff. Um, But as far as going through another pregnancy and things like that, like, it's not to say like you shouldn't take care of yourself when you're pregnant. I don't know what I'm getting at here, but basically I'm feeling very motivated to kind of just really focus on myself and getting you know, my overall health and well-being up to par because for me personally, it hasn't been the greatest. I haven't taken very great care of myself in quite some time, so that needs to change. And I've just heard amazing, amazing things about this. So I did count that as a business expense, but I am going to put all of my remaining pocket money towards it um, just to kind of counteract the purchase because obviously this is going to put me over budget as far as what I budgeted for business expenses. So 111.86 is what we have here. And I still want to get my um, Sarah Marie stickers. So let's see, we had 65 at 47 remaining last week. So we're currently over by, uh, let's see, $46.39. And so if I put my pocket money towards it, that will um, bring me back into a positive balance. And then my Sarah Marie stickers orders usually aren't very much, they're like 20, 30 bucks. So if I go over by a little bit um, for business expenses, I'm okay with that as long as it's not by like a ton. So I'm gonna just put all my pocket money towards this as well, but I will still consider it a business expense because it's something that I'm gonna show you guys. Um, Once I get my, my package in the mail, I'll do a haul video. And then I'm also going to kind of do like, well, I haven't fully decided, but I was thinking about doing like monthly check-ins or something like that with them. So that's that. And then we did have a couple unbudgeted items. So where was that? Um, Here we go, right here. So let's see, we had PlayStation View, which we got in lieu of um, Hulu Live, and that was for $59.82. And then staples, I had to get some paperwork printed and then scanned and emailed over to our lender for our refinance. And then bracket care, um, my daughter stayed, my oldest daughter stayed at pre-K a little later than usual and they charge $5 if they stay um, until like their max time that they're allowed to be there. So that was $5. So $69.70 is what we are currently at with unbudgeted 69.70 for the week so I'm hoping we won't have any more you know unbudgeted expenses but it's not too bad honestly um, let me see so did I get everything all of our bills have come out except for State Farm that always ends up coming out a couple days late so yeah so that's all good so the next thing we're gonna look at is our paycheck to budget oh and let me just show you guys too so for sinking funds this is all we've had going on this past week um we had our car maintenance that came out earlier this month and then my husband purchased some air filters for the house and then we did get our newborn pictures taken um, on monday and i'm so excited to see them because the photographer set up some really pretty like backgrounds and things like that and props and Oh, I just cannot wait to see them. So I will be sharing those over on my Instagram as well once I get them. So definitely stay tuned for that. But we um, paid her for her services. We had put a deposit down and then we paid her the rest of what we owed for the pictures. So not a whole ton going on with sinking funds, which is to be expected because we have them very limited right now while I'm on maternity leave. So the next thing we'll do is we'll look at, oh, and I need to film, I need to fill this in. So this was PlayStation View, which my estimate was pretty spot on, actually. And that was uh, $59.82. $59.82. So that means that our rollover was 18 cents more than what was expected, right? Because this is 18 cents less. 
so 441. Oh, and unbudgeted. I was gonna track. And actually, that, the PlayStation View would have been the only unbudgeted. So, yeah, so 441, 93 plus 18 cents. So 442, 11 was our rollover. 42, 11. So that takes care of paycheck one. Okay, paycheck two. We had Southwest come out for $32. We had CenturyLink come out. Apple Music, the bills are pretty much always the same. I know State Farm is $38.70, that never changes. Uh, Pre-K tuition was actually two, well it was $2.89 and then I'll just do the bracket care as unbudgeted. Um, Sinking funds, we took out the 550 for those, and we'll be taking out more later this month. And then unbudgeted, we actually only had these two here, because this one was technically week one, so I counted that in the paycheck one budget. Week two, we had 988 for those two unbudgeted transactions. 988. So our actual rollover was 988 less than expected. 988. So 170.17. So that closes out the week two budget. And then the last thing we're going to do is take a look at our cash envelopes. So I have my wallet in front of me here and we have a couple transactions that have taken place. So let me find my orange. I think this is the right orange. I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight all of these actually right now since there's not very many. It feels good to be um, filming and doing something other than nursing and changing diapers and stuff. Uh, my daughter is adjusting really, really well to Julia being here. She's obsessed with her just as much as I am. First thing in the morning, she wants to see her. Um, at night, she has to go and give kisses for night-night time, and just, it's so sweet. We, we've honestly been in like bliss over here. It's been really awesome. Okay, so $36. Okay, let's start with grocery, actually. So we spent zero on grocery, because we had zero remaining. And I'm going to do this, because it's hard to write against the coil. Household, we didn't spend anything, so we should still have $5 in that envelope. This is gonna bug me, so I'm just going to redo it. <laughs> okay, eating out was 36, right? Yeah, nine plus 27 is 36. Wait, right? Nine. Nine plus, yeah, 36, Ugh, I swear. My brain is not working. So let's see, we had 40 last week, so we should have $4 in that envelope. Pocket money, I had 27 remaining and then spent 13. And Starbucks again, getting drinks for myself and my family. So I should have $14 remaining there. And we still have not spent miscellaneous cash, which for some of our unbudgeted items, we probably could have just used miscellaneous, but that's okay. Um, whatever we have left over in cash at the end of the month is probably just gonna go right into savings. So, so let's check our, um, we'll check our envelopes, make sure that everything is there that needs to be there. I've honestly been like a little off my game with tracking stuff um, since Julia was born, just cause it's been, it was a whirlwind, especially in the hospital. It's like all caution was thrown to the wind. Like I just didn't care. But I just uh, spent some time going through and making sure that um, all transactions were tracked in here and everything. Okay, so household, I should have five dollars. So one, two, three, four, five. So that is good to go. And then we've got eating out, which I should have four in here. And we're about to reset our cash envelope. So you guys will see the cash envelope stuffing video on Saturday, and then the paycheck three budget will be tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. 
Um, filming is going to be kind of weird, <laughs> I think, until we get into a good schedule with Julia. Um, it's, yeah, she is a mama's girl through and through. She wants, she's very attached to me. I'm very attached to her too. So, um, my filming schedule, I'm going to try to stick to it as much as I can, but I might move the time from noon to like later in the day, just in case I don't get to filming early enough and all that kind of stuff. But, um, but that is the, you know, schedule right now is tomorrow. You guys should see my paycheck three budget and then my, um, cash envelope stuffing video on Saturday, but okay. Eating out. One, two, three, and four. So that envelope is good. All set. And pocket money. I'm going to be depositing this in the bank along with whatever I um, already took out for the second half of the month to go towards the power sheets. But here's 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So that is all good to go. We did get our short-term disability and everything, which is good. Um, so that's all good to go as far as um, income's concerned. And then there's $20 for the miscellaneous. So yeah, we, we're gonna be on kind of a tight budget for the rest of the maternity leave because we don't want to go through what I received for short-term disability. Uh, but you guys will see that transaction in the monthly view here. So it was, um, through my work, I got the short-term disability and they just paid it out in one lump sum versus like weekly or bi-weekly, which I kind of like, honestly. I, I actually didn't know that that was gonna happen. Um, but yeah, so that's good to go. Um, the budget's definitely gonna be kind of like weird. November's gonna be sort of weird trying to figure out November's budget because our income is like all over the place right now with the short-term disability and my husband's got paid bonding leave and we just don't know what the exact numbers are going to be and all this kind of stuff. But, um, but that is week three. I'm just going to focus on week three, one week at a time or no week two, week two is what I meant to say. But yeah, I'm just going to focus on the budget one week at a time. That's why I really love paycheck to paycheck budgeting too. It just kind of makes it a little less overwhelming, but, um, but anyways, guys, so that is it for this check-in video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos. If you have any questions or comments at all, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you're interested in picking up the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner or any of the stickers that I use, which are from Sarah Marie stickers and um, from Planner Kate, I do have links to their Etsy shops um, down below as well. So definitely check that out if you're interested and I will chat with y'all later. Bye.